Wow, I don't know about you guys, but for me, that's some good nostalgia right there. But hey everybody, it's me, Miracard Neko, back with my next solo Let's Play, and as the title obviously you can see right there, it's Banjo-Kazooie. Which, this is definitely another one favorite from my childhood. Absolutely loved this game and played it a whole lot when I was a kid. And as you can see, I have not played through the one on the Switch yet. Um, I haven't had a chance to play this version, but trust me, I played the N64 version so many different times, so I'm just prepared to get into this. Now it's just a matter of which save file. Uh, yeah. We're all gamers here. Let's do empty number three. Let's go for adventure. by the bench. Who is the nicest looking wench? Why, it's you, Grunty, any day. She really takes my breath away. <laughs> yes, you're right. I'm rather proud. My looks stand me out from the crowd. Mm, but there is a girl. What? What do you mean? This cannot be. There's no one prettier than me. Why, it's Tootie, young and small. She's the prettiest girl of all. No, 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 you must be mad. Nicer beauty can't be had. Unfortunately, I think you'll find it's Tootie, she's cute and kind. Wow. Well, 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 we'll see about that. I just remember some of these lines by heart already. That's why if it seems like I'm reading ahead, that's why. Wake up! I want to go on an adventure too! If Tootie thinks she's fairer than me, I'll steal her looks! Ugly she'll be! Is that your brother? Where? Mr. Wolf? I can't see him! Up there in the sky! I don't think so. Who is that? Come to me, my little pretty! You will soon be ugly! What a pity! Let me go, you ugly old hag! Scratch and bite, my little bear. You'll soon need a bigger pair of underwear. Oh no, she's got her. Somebody help! Banjo, wake up! Now! What do you want, Kazooie? Let's get outside. There's trouble. Well, let's go. Listen up! I'm Bottles the short-sighted mole. I'm Banjo, and this here's my buddy Kazooie. Sure is a strange-looking buddy, Banjo. Can it talk? Better than you can, Goggle Boy. What was that all that noise about? Where's my sister, Tootie? 
the ugly witch Gruntilda swooped down out of the sky and grabbed her. Calm down, Kiki. We'll get her back. Where did she go? She flew up to her mountain lair. It's really dangerous, so you'll probably need some training before you go up to there. Go up there. Press A if you want to talk to me to teach you some basic moves, or press B if you think you're already good enough. Yeah, let's. Uh, just so I know the controls on the Switch, I don't know if they're different. I don't know if they're different from the old controls, so we're gonna do that. We'd like some help bottles. What do we do? Explore this area and look out for my molehills. Stand next to them and press B to call me. See you soon! Okay, the camera does turn like it used to. I don't know if, um... You said press A next to him, right? Oh, B. I need help. You want help? Hello again. Let's start with the camera controls. They're on the yellow C buttons. Basically the extra joystick on the bottom. That's nothing special. Try this then, Beaky. Tap R to move the camera behind Banjo. Is that all, Farm Breath? No. Hold R to keep the camera behind your feather, but try it out. Do it the next block. Let's see. What would the R button be here? Okay, it's the it is the actual R button. That'll be helpful. So come over here. Hmm, your jump could do with some help. Ha, what do moles know about jumping? More than you! Okay, press A to jump and hold it to jump higher. I know it! Jump and then press A again and... Okay, it is the same as before. That's it, we're ready. Stand like this. What? Wearing ridiculous glasses and and a silly grin? I'm not listening. Hold C, then press A for the mighty flat flip jump. Okay, so that would be ZL on the control. Yeah, no, it's definitely ZL. Okay. That's how you do that. Alright, but there are some things around here we're gonna need to... This is gonna get. Yeah, the camera control. Can I switch the... No. Okay, so... I'm an extra honeycomb piece. Collect six of us to increase your energy bar. Which is what we're gonna do. There is um six total in this area, and it's definitely better to get them all now before you head into the castle. Fancy learning to swim underwater? Oh, sounds difficult. And I'll get my fur wet. Come on, Banjo. I want to swim. Spill the beans. Specky. Use the control stick to swim on the surface. To swim underwater, press B to dive. Go on, give it a try. Well, here's hoping we don't drown ourselves. I know there's a piece under here I gotta get. But yeah, swimming's easy. It's the underwater thing that's a little bit of a tricky thing because uh, it runs on the uh, Mario 64 type of uh, thing where the longer you're underwater for, the uh, health, more health you lose. And I believe there's a piece, right? Yep. So let's see. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. All right. I think we got that. Man, the camera, the camera is gonna be the biggest pain in the butt here. I'll tell you that for now, guys. The camera is gonna be the cha most challenging thing about me getting used to this game here. Banjo, it's time for you to learn the claw swipe attack. What is it? I must know. Simply press B when standing still or moving slowly. Sounds good. What can I try it out on? Well, how about her brain? Just try it, battle boy. Only kidding. Let me find something with a challenge. Ah, there's a topper. Whack him, Banjo. It's a fire attack. Wow, nice one. Try another. Hey, I want some moves. Come on, I'm pressing. Oh, I can't move and press B. I forgot about that. I have to hold still. Now, try my fearsome forward roll. I want to learn to fly now. Roll by running and pressing B. I'll see if I can find a brawl for you to practice on. We've moved from carrots to onions. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Bullseye. One more. Stop rolling. I feel sick. Oh, we're fine. It's time for the buzzer to learn a trick. It had better be a good one, Squinty. Try out the rat a tat -a rap by jumping and pressing B in the air. Now, there's a cauliflower. Oh. I think a cauliflower. Okay. Okay. So far, the controls are basically the same as the N64. Give me another bug, buggy eyes. There we go. You've learned all of the basic attacks. Now, see you around. Okay, there we go. Oh, B. That's something I'm gonna have to get used to. Mmm, I'm sticky, tasty, honey energy. Basically, that's how you recover health. You beat enemies and you, uh, have honeycomb for health. Instead of, like, Mario, the way Mario has it. Oh, this is the swimming we already learned how to do. I believe there's something over here. Darn. That's something I'm gonna have to get used to. Is that the A and the B for some reason are more swapped around? Okay, yeah, there's A. There we go. I wonder if I can make that. Look out for me! I'm an extra life! Okay. Man, when you forget that N64 games back in the day, like, you had no free reign of the camera. You really just had a set motion for it. I know there's more. They make me learn how to climb a tree? I think they will. Is there that one honeycomb I saw up there? Yeah, here we go. Hey, Banjo! I hope you're not afraid of heights! I'm not. Tell me about flying, root muncher! Not yet! Banjo, jump on to a tree, then use the control stick to climb up or down! That's exactly what I tried to do, but... Mm. 
Oh, I know. Darn it. Where was that coming from? I think it was in here. There we go. Just one more piece. And then we can move on out of tutorial land. What have you got to learn? What have I got to learn now, Bottles? My beef? RJ Cag meats? Help a couple of chicken legs. At least I've got some lay short stuff. Oh, see, then press B for a powerful beef barge. That's it, you've learned all of the basic moves. Meet me at the top of the spiral mountain, and I'll tell you what to do next. See, Banjo, she is useful for something. I'm trying this move out on you next, Jam Jars. I forgot which one has the last piece. Or I just have to destroy them all before. There it is. Alright, so as you can see, once you collect six, you get another health bar. And I always recommend you going to do that before you head up to Spiral Mountain. If you had told him, no, you don't want to learn the basics, he would just have everything under your belt and you could just walk up the tower, but I'd still recommend getting the honeycomb pieces just to have that extra bar of health. While the beginning of the game is relatively easy, you'll want it for like later in the game. And of course I'm running the wrong way, aren't I? Yep, it was right there all along. Of course it was. You'll get a faster mode of travel. Also, after a certain, after like the first location we go to. But right now, you just gotta deal with slow, Banjo's slow walk. Well done, guys. You're ready to tackle the witch now. We sure are. Show us the way, Bottle Boy. I fixed the bridge so you can cross it and enter Gruntilda's lair. Thanks, Bottles. Look out for me inside. Good luck. Thanks. I think I'll need it. Mm, not for the beginning parts, but for later parts I probably will. This fine contraption, so I'm told, will make me young and tooty old. Let me go, you fat head! My brother will come and kick your butt! Rescue you, he will not dare. There's many dangers in my lair. Hurry, Colungo, push that switch! I'm tired of being an ugly witch. Unless he has just plenty. Power is so soon be ready. There he is! The fun begins! My tricks and traps! We'll see who wins! No, I am not this bad at platforming. I'm just getting used to these controls. Hey! It's me, Mr. Jiggy! Now go and find a picture with a piece missing! Uh -huh. Okay, so I know that there's this way, but as you can see, we cannot get up there right now. And no, it's not because I wasn't trying to run and get up there. It's just literally that place is blocked off until you come over here and learn a move. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess I might as well. This world will be easy to clear. 
To enter the world shown on the picture, you must fill in the missing spaces with the jigsaw pieces. We've got the first jigsaw piece, Goggle Boy. Great! To fill in the missing spaces on a picture, press A. If you don't want to use any jiggy saw pieces, press B to leave. Yeah, no. We can't move forward with the game unless we do this one. That's it, the picture's complete. And the door to Mumbo's Mountain is open. Thought he was gonna say complete and rhyme. That was such an easy fit. The others must may test your wit. And there I go, I keep dropping my phone. So I will say this world is pretty easy and I'm gonna clear this like no problem. But I know all I'm doing is talking about the game right now. There are three new moves to learn in this world. Find my molehills and I'll explain. Alright, so you see these things here? This is... There's ten jigsaw pieces in each world. And in order to get one of them, I gotta collect five of these. Jinjos on each world. Free all of us to get a jiggy. So I got four more to find in here. Just making sure I'm thorough. Getting my practice in. See, there's a jiggy right there. Um, let me get this jinjo right here. Alright. I'm too used to playing Scarlet and Violet with uh, some of these controls. us to open the note doors. Alright, come on. Seriously? Seriously, come on. There we go. Thought the game was gonna jerk around with me. Good thing it didn't. So I wouldn't be surprised. So, yeah, like I said, this world, I can pretty much clear everything. Don't you dare tell me I missed one down there. I just collected those! Am I going crazy? Oh, there was a second- there was a second hole. With my luck, I wouldn't have been surprised. If, uh, the game just, like, glitched out. And was like, no, you- you can't have that. I think I'm gonna go learn the moves that I need to before I, like, really... Because I can't climb up the side of that mountain without a certain move, which I really do think I want to just go learn what I need to first. So that way I can make all this collecting easier. Me mumble token. Use me for mumble magic. Yeah, we'll hold on to you for just a sec. I call this the Beat Buster. Jump into the air, then press Z to see Kazooie slamming hard down to the floor. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Banjo, 
Get used to it, nest girl. You'll need to be using it a lot. And he's definitely right about that. This is a move that we're going to be using a whole lot. So I believe it's... There we go. And you're better off as soon as you see these music notes, just collect them. And in this game... Oh yeah, we're going to learn about eggs soon too. Where the eggs Kazooie can learn to use as ammo. We are going to learn about that. One thing at a time first. Might as well just get all of this out of the way. There's the third Jinjo. There's another life. Uh -huh. And there we go. Our first Jiggy of this world. You must search for ten of us in each world. We'll help you progress through the witch's lair. Like I said, I'm going to able their ten. When you're ready to leave this world, return to the starting area and stand on the exit pad. Yeah, we're not ready at this point. Go away, leave my honeycombs alone. I couldn't remember what I think. Oh. Well, there's a number two. Like I said, they're pretty easy to find in this one. Almost insultingly easy to find. Just making sure I didn't miss anything. Um, yeah, let's go learn those moves first before I go into Mumbo's house. Because that'll just make my life easier. Another Jinjo. I think it's up there. But I just want to make sure. See if there was anything. We're gonna learn about the eggs pretty soon. It's in this world. I think I might need five of these Mumbo tokens anyway to have Mumbo do his thing. So let's just come over here. The Talon Trot will learn the Kasumi Tackle Steep Slopes with ease. That sounds useful. How does she do it? Hold C, then press the left C stick button. Continue to hold C while moving Kasumi around with the control stick. Go practice. This is like the faster way to travel in the game. Okay. Oh my god, traveling by Kazooie this way is so much easier. So much easier. And it's much faster than trying to uh, walk around with Banjo all the time. As a kid, I just walked with Kazooie this way. One more Jinjo to find. And I'm coming back over here. I'm gonna go back over there for in a bit. Just wanna come over here. Just, yep, there's a few things to collect here. There's another Mumbo token down there. And listen, make your life easier and just collect all the notes while you're in the world. Because you'll have to start over your collection. Yippee, you've collected enough notes to break the first note door. I know that, but we're not um leaving quite yet. Like I said, I can get everything in this world. There was a thing here. There it is. Six more to go. Just making sure I'm keeping them all the time. Man, using the extra joystick on here too is gonna take some moves too. So if I come over. Oh! Ah! Darn it! I went too far.
It's okay, we'll get back up there. Yeah, you, if you guys see that bull right there, don't don't bother. Don't bother. Um, I don't know if there's actually a way to kill that thing. As far as I can tell, I don't think you can kill those bulls. So just, just walk away. I want to get this thing. There we go. And then there's two honeycombs in this world, I believe. Oh, that one's too steep. So if we come over here, more music notes to play. And there should be the last Jinjo around here. Okay, yeah, I think this. And that is number five. Five more to find. Man, that bowl just says, I know you're I know you're trying to uh accomplish things around here, but uh Okay, no, we're good. As far as I'm aware, we're good. Ah, this is Conga's tree. Me hit bear with oranges. Actually, I didn't see if it said orange specifically. Ooh, the cleaver bear find Conga's gold. Yep, I will be uh, taking this. Four more to go. And I will also be taking one of that. Hey, that Conga's orange. Put it back. Here you go, little monkey. Enjoy. Oh, Chippy like Conga's orange. Chippy help fat bear and bird. And everybody's so savage to each other in this. And that is three more to go. We'll go over there in just a sec. There is one more thing we gotta do. Press the switch. And also in the, I guess we'll call it the outer world, there's also ten jiggies to find in the outer world, but you have to press those switches in order to get them. Yeah, I'll just go back this way. There we go. Alright, bottles. What's the last thing you gotta teach us? Time for the buzzer to learn and eat the ancient ways of the eggs. I'm listening, beetle breath. Hold C, then press the top C to shoot an egg out of your mouth. Hey, sounds cool. Anything else? Sure. Press the bottom C button instead, and you can shoot them out from behind. Sheesh, sounds painful. I wished I never asked. Birdbrain can carry a hundred eggs in her backpack. Oh, and you can also use the control stick to aim while you are crouching. Exciting, huh? Now that you've learned to use the eggs, here's 50 to practice with. Whoa, Banjo, there's nothing more I can teach you on this world. Can't hit Ponga. 
Alright, there we go. Ooh, bear and burpy Congo give me give price to bear. Thank you. Two more. I do remember where the last two are. And I also know where the last tiny cone piece is here. Like I said, I played this a whole lot as a kid, so this world I should have practically memorized. I'll get used to these controls eventually as well. Juju Mumbo's token ball feed us with nice blue stones. Okay, so a little bit more. All right, come on. get up from this one or do I have to do one more? I don't okay yeah I have to just do one more. I keep missing fixing up the A and the B button. Alright that's all the honeycombs here. And now if I can remember my controls Is there a reason you don't want to eat the eggs? Oh my god. You are going to be complicated, aren't you, sir? There we go. That took longer than it should have. I'm not gonna lie. That took a lot longer than it should have. And then I hope the last. If I remember correctly, is the last mumble piece in here? Oh. Me, Mumbo, best shaman in all game, can help Banjo, filthy, feathered one. Watch it, hut boy. Mumbo's magic tokens hidden by which find tokens and Mumbo help you. Banjo, not enough tokens for Mumbo magic. Look at the sign, bring more. I think I know where it is. Well, at least this will give me a chance to remember my controls. I think there should be one here. Oh, there it is. No bears allowed in the tickers tower. Now I have enough. Yeah, you won't be able to climb that tower without Mumbo's help. So that's why you have to just get the token and then just come back here. Alright, I have enough. Oh, Banjo have plenty tokens. Stand on skull and press B to see mighty Mumbo magic. Sounds good. 
I'm a tick. Bumble magic free charge back. You come when ready. Termite bite small, but not bad for, for spell mumble practice needed. Oh, it's a termite. Not a tick. I do admit the little sound effect of him walking is very cute. Why do you make him so small compared to the other tick? Not ticks. Termite. They're so puny compared to these other termites. Although, if you all had termites the, that big, I'm sure there'd be a whole lot more problems. Than just your house being eaten. This game is all about platforming. Hey, where did you get those shorts? Yep, collected all of them. You found all a hundred notes in this world. Well done. Yeah, I'm about to clean sweep this world is what I'm about to do. Give me that cool backpack or else. Go. Yep, we can always take an extra life. Go ho. And then this should be our final jiggy here. And the last thing I needed to collect in this world. Next world I'll show you his uh bow. I forgot if I can yeah, I could just fall. And with that, we can exit. I am a tiny little termite. I am determined to run. I like it. It's really cute. A little pitter patter like that. And that is everything completed. Grunty's magic stops taking the notes off the world but the hundred just collected counts as your best note score try to get a hundred on each world as they are needed to open the note doors yeah and then once you get into a world the enemies of that world start appearing here too <laughs> when you open a world door baddies escape and roam once more I can deal with that. Hey, where did you get those shorts? I want them. Alright. Mumbo's magic get weak. Animal turn back or magic go. Yeah. Magic all gone must go back to bear and bird. So this basically just shows that unfortunately you can't stay a tick. Tick fleet termite. You can't stay a termite the whole game. And then we're ready here to go up. This is why he needed this move in order to climb the door. I need some help. Alright, bottles. This is a note door sealed by Grunty with one of her powerful musical spells. Open it up then, jam jars. It's not that simple. To open it, you must collect the musical notes from the worlds. How many do we need? The number on the door is the strength of the spell. The combined total of all your best note scores from the worlds must be at least this to break Grunty's magic. Which I collected everything in Mumbo's mountain, so... Yo -ho, yo -ho. That's his uh, smash taunt. That door was easy for you got past. Unfortunately, you're first and last. Yeah, we're gonna need to talk to her. Hello there, young ones. I'm Quintilda. Quintilda's nicer sister. I crept down here to help you defeat the old hag. 
It's about time she was taught a lesson. I know all of Brentilda's disgusting secrets, and I'll tell you three of them every time you find me. Remember them well, young ones, as they will help you avoid a fiery fate. Press B if you like to hear them. Yeah, this is one of those things you actually do need to pay attention to for the game. So, I'm just going to come over here. I'm going to do a video for myself on my phone so I can remember these for later. Fenty brushes her rotten teeth with tuna ice cream flavored toothpaste. Gross. She also washes her hair with a rancid milk. Yuck! Yeah, that's even worse than the toothpaste. And she gets her clothes from Saggy Maggie's boutique. Monsters chase. They're a hounding. Then you'll get grunty pounding. Well, okay. I saved that for later. I'm not going to spoil what it's for, but you do want to run into her and talk to her and remember everything she told you. Alright. Down here. You've activated a magical cauldron. Find two of the same color to create a shortcut. Yeah, we ain't gonna get much in the way of shortcuts right now because... We are not too far into the game. Oh, well, it's also nice to pick up a mumbo token. You can find them in the overworld too, along with eggs and stuff, so you're better off collecting them as you see them. Yeah, I know that's there. This is the Kazooie Shop Jump Disc. Find me and I'll tell you how to use it. Yeah, that's right can't use it now. To remove pieces that you have already put down, press the down C button. But once the picture is complete, all of the pieces are stuck there permanently. Yeah. I'm just gonna at least unlock this and get to where we need to go to before I end the episode off. So then that way we can start fresh. Without having you watch having to have you watch me travel there. Not that it's that bad, but still. I don't think we can really do much over here for now. Yeah, unfortunately. We can't do too much right here right now. Well, that's for later. Yes, you are going to hear her laugh like that. Every time. I'm just trying to remember certain things as I go through here. Okay, there is another cauldron here. Might as well get that. You've activated a magical cauldron. Yep, we already know about that. Lucky for you, I have an invulnerable feather. Bottles will tell you more. It is better for you to just ex take the time to explore for a sec. Hmm. 
when you can. I do believe we're going down that way. We can't go that way yet. But once we complete the next world, I believe the next world too, I'm going to be able to complete no problem. I think it's down this way, if I remember correctly. Long of tooth and strong arm, Grunty's got the lasting charm. now. I do remember what the cannon does now. But I do think this is a good place to save off. Because, um... I don't 100% know if I'm gonna collect everything in this world the first attempt. I think I can. I think it is possible for me to do so. But I guess we'll see when that next episode rolls around. So until the next time, guys, this is Miracard Neko, and I hope you have a good day.